Vlog 229. Hey everybody, it must be Monday because it's me, Jaime, your pal, and the shut-in cartoonist musician vlogcasting, of course, from the Corn Tortue Press World Headquarters, which is located these days on an island out in the San Francisco Bay. Uh, finishing up, I mean literally down to the bottom of my last cup of coffee of the day, my second cup. Uh, my That's Mickey Mouse 1930s. I'm using this cup today. That was my favorite period of him, by the way, in print and on animation. So I'm drinking Major Dickinson's. I'm revisiting that. It's been having for the last few days. It's quite delicious. Um, I highly recommend it. I buy it whole bean because I have a grinder built into my coffee maker. Excuse me one second. Mm. I'm just going to set it down so a little more left. Um, I want to say right off the top of the bat, it's taken me over an hour to do this. I've had a zillion takes. Um, and this is happening every Monday morning. And I believe because I only do this once a week now. When I did it daily, uh, I'd say at least two to three days a week, I, I can do it first take. Um, generally, it was two to three takes. I averaged two to three takes a day. Boom. Done. Uh, now, it, it's this has taken, looking at the clock, oh boy, probably an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go on a little bit today, just a little bit, uh, just keeping you up to, to speed on what's going on in my life. Uh, as you know, a couple of weeks ago, I injured my back moving a heavy piece of furniture, but I slipped when I was doing it. I lifted with my legs, I did all that, but when I slipped and I moved wrong and twinge, and that little twinge became a week of icing my back and laying on my back and not being able to move much. Last week, uh, it's been improving incrementally. So now, the last two days I've been on the floor doing little uh, yoga, ooh, I almost felt that, doing little yoga moves. So it's it's coming back. I'm doing the parts, the, the yoga stuff that strengthens my core, but some of them hurt a little bit. So I take it a little easy, but it's coming back. And a lot of it has to do with being, um, this is this is where I'm heading, two prong uh, explanation here. One is I am in the worst shape I've been in since probably 2007 or eight, maybe nine, somewhere in there. The, the worst shape. Uh, back then, I was in bad shape. Then I made a, a concerted effort to get better, and I did. Lost a bunch of weight, you know, lots of, of hiking, cycling, shitloads of surfing, and some skating, too, being skateboarding. Um, since I moved here to Alameda over a couple of years ago, uh, the first year I was doing well. I was playing pickleball. I tried surfing uh, from this direction, driving to my surf spot, but it would it'd knock out almost a whole day and that's just the commutes so and getting stuck in traffic and so i i really sadly have, have, have slacked off of that just because i can't afford the time um skating a little bit but i've discovered pickleball when i moved over here and then that was fun so i was playing that three days a week and of course riding my bike and going on a bike tour so right now though the bike tour is the main thing i've been out on my bike but it's raining like hell I don't have fenders on my bike, and I also don't like ra riding in the rain unless I have to. It's like if I'm on a bike tour and it starts raining, I'll ride as far as I can to find shelter. Because A, it's not that good for your bike, and B, it's dangerous. Because bike touring or just riding around here, you're riding amongst traffic. And if you drive a car, you notice even though they have lights and everything, how hard it is to see a bicyclist or a motorcyclist. So there you go. So waiting for this to blow over. So that's part of the reason. The other thing is I'm old, I'm, or I'm getting older, physically. I don't feel that much older. There are days, there are days, like when this bag goes out, I, I, I realize I'm not 25 anymore. I realize I'm not 17 or whatever. Um, and I know this, I know this. So, But if you take care of yourself, you just keep chugging along. But I still feel a lot younger than I am. But age has been part of it. And that's the main thing I wanted to talk about today is not so much my aging, but uh, of reflecting what I've been doing. is just I've been reflecting a lot lately and, and, and actually looking back. Not living in the past, just you know knowing where you come from so you know where you're going. But I've been missing, and I've been missing my mom. She's been gone. There's a picture of me and her up there. You know, She's been gone for 20, going on 23 years. You know, we were close. I miss her. Um, the passing of S. Clay Wilson recently. Another another one that kind of nailed me, you know, right there. I, I knew Clay. He was uh, he he was another encouraging force. He was part of that cadre 
of underground cartoonists I admired that were the generation before me. And their hot period was like the mid 60s to the mid 70s. And the mid 70s is where I really, early and mid 70s is where I started picking up on their work. And um, I was very pleased and fortunate to be, you know, to know him. And excuse me, I just here. And um, which then had me think of him passing, the passing of my friend Frank Stoff almost two years ago. Frank is the one who introduced me to Clay. Frank had, he was the editor of Deadbeat Magazine, which was a newspaper out of the Haight-Ashbury newspaper format, which was writing and comics and, and all that. And let me tell you, man, for those that don't know you younger folks or don't live in the area, back in, you know, all through probably till the mid 90s, San Francisco and the outlying Bay Area, you know, the East Bay where I live now, had a plethora of, of media, print media, that writers and cartoonists, you were always in something and generally multiple things. I was, you know, from 1985 to like the early 1990s, like 92, 93, I would be in three to five publications, you know, every week, if not every month. You know, I was in something locally. That's not even just counting the stuff I was in outside. So there was a lot of stuff. It's different. But anyway, that's how I met uh, Clay. He was in the same, he was in Deadbeat Magazine, me, Steve Laffler. That's where I met Steve Laffler. And we all knew each other through that. And so it just had me taking stock of people that are gone and, and, and how, um, you know, reaching out to folks still and, and letting them know, you know, what you're thinking about them. And that's a good thing. And now that we live, we're just about at the year anniversary of living in this COVID, you know, insanity, um, you know, where there's these buffers now between all of us. It's probably more important than ever to let people know. And you don't have to be an old geezer like me or older. I'm talking, you know, any of you out there that hear my voice that are young, you know, and you're living away or you're just thinking about somebody, you know, give them a call or write to them or, you know, however you guys communicate, do it. Let them know how you feel. Let them know you love them. Let, you know, it's just, it's nice to keep in contact. This is, this is all temporary, you know? So it's while we're here, let's make the best of it, right? So that's pretty much it for me today. Um, let's see what else. Oh, oh yeah. And I've been working on my, my printer, my scanner printer. You guys, a handful of these back remember me getting rid of my old one because it finally died. I spent some money and got a better one, a better scanner printer, all that. And I haven't even had it six months and it keeps dropping out. It still scans, but it keeps dropping out with the printing. Like it won't read it's wireless right so won't read any of our computers or anything to print so i'm i've been going through the manual and today and i've been trying all these other little tricks and asking people today i'm actually going to get on the phone with the, the company and see if they can help me out i hate doing that but there you go that's 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 my <laughs> that's my life so yeah exercising the back getting older and, and this pardon my friends fucking printer so there you go that's my life. Anyway, glad you guys joined me today. This is the only way I get to talk to anybody nowadays. Um, don't forget to subscribe down below. Check out my website, man. Uh, give my new book. I, I rarely pimp my work, but this is my best book yet. And it's uh, high quality. It's 28 pages. As I said, guess a couple of these ago, I'm from now on, my comic books, Tortillas, are going to be 32 pages. I'm just going to flat out just make them 32 pages. Um... So, because I just have more to say. Um, working on the graphic novel novel still. I know my publishers are all looking at their watches and tapping their feet with this one. But uh, it's going to come out nice. And that's what I wanted it to be. Before, it didn't make sense. I'm, I'm almost glad now I lost it in the hard drive. So I got to rewrite it. And now it makes more sense. It's more, you know, linear and uh, covers the subject better. Um, all right, everybody. That's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys next Monday. Take it easy.